Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO team up video. Today's team up video, we're going to be looking at Kabu Tops and Amistar in Expanded one last time with Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick still being legal in the Expanded format. Obviously, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick is going to be banned very soon in literally on Friday. So in like five or six days, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick will be banned from Expanded. It will no longer be usable. It kind of sucks. Max Season and Ball Trick was a pretty uh, fun card to play. I had a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool decks I made with it. Uh, it was a really unique card. Now Archies is really all we have left, which kind of sucks. And to be honest with you, Maxis really got banned because of Amistar and Kabutops. Yet, honestly, I can't really think of many good like Amistar Kabutops decks. Like Amistar is good, but it's probably better um, than Kabutops. But honestly, like the only problem I see is like Maxis Amistar. Maxi's Kabutops is honestly not that bad. I'm going to be playing two different decks in today's video. I'm going to be playing a Maxi's uh, Amistar deck, and I'm also going to be playing a Maxi's Kabutops deck. I actually struggled to make a good Kabutops deck, because honestly, it's kind of hard to make a good Kabutops deck work. Um, but I am going to be doing a dual deck. Before we get into this piece of show video, of course, guys, shout out to Card Cavern TCG, our sponsor. And of course, if you guys need to get any team up codes at all, if you guys need to get any Lost Thunder codes, any GX codes like Jolteon GX, Waylord Magic Card codes, Vaporeon codes, definitely go buy them over at Card Cavern TCG. Best place to get them. And also, you can use the discount code LDF for a discounted on your purchase. So it's a bit cheaper. So yeah, let's get into today's video. Of course, we're going to be covering two different decks. So the first one was just going to be an Amistar deck. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really know what, like, Amistar deck to do. Um, there's a few that I could think of. Uh, one of them was, like, going to be, like, Amistar with, like, maybe, like, Toad, Amistar, Glaceon. But I just ended up just doing Amistar Gengar for the memes. Um, so that's why I went with that. And the other one that I'm going to be going with is going to be a Maxis Kabutops deck. Now, again, I think Maxis Kabutops is not as good as people think. I know you can do, like, Maxis Amistar and Maxis Kabutops for, like, a dual deck type of thing but it's actually really hard you gotta remember to pull off a max and a ball trick you gotta have to play like all the combo cards to make it work like battle compressor ultra balls trainer's mail all these cards to help you pull it off so you actually can't really play maxi's and ball trick in like weird decks so it's like what about like playing maxi's kabutop stall well that can't really work because you literally like you can't really use the maxi's engine in a stall deck because you have to play stall cards so there's a lot of like really big issues with playing the kabutops engine that's why i didn't really like kabutops and expanded with maxi's because i honestly just couldn't really think of a good like way to really play it to like make it really annoying but we're going to be running it with like a fighting box type of deck just with buzzles and like a landorus and uh i'm going to be playing like stuff like coco and wabafet just to support the kabutops but yeah i really couldn't think of a good kabutops deck for Maxis and Ball Trick, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. Kabutops with Focus Ash can be pretty evil, so we are gonna be trying that out. So we're definitely gonna be testing out this Kabutops deck. I honestly, again, I just couldn't think of any good Kabutops strategies, and I'm just gonna be doing the Maxis Gengar one. We're gonna look at the, de the decks. They're very, very similar. So I just decided let's just play Gengar, Amistar, and Expanded, because why not? There's, again, there's a few other Amistar combos I can think of, but I've gone with this one. I mean, we already did a video on it, but again, we're just going to be doing, like, one game with each deck. So, we're going to look at all the cards to help pull this off. Since we are playing only five Pokemon, because, again, to play Amistar, this is another reason why I'm not a fan of Amistar in Expanded, because you actually have to have fewer Pokemon to play than your opponent. So, you have to play this with, like, a very specific Pokemon. So, that's why it's actually... Amistar does not have that many partners, to be honest with you. Even in Expanded, I can't really think of that many partners from, you know, Expanded. Like, other than, like, maybe Seismitoad. That's, like, really about it. Like I or like Giratina, but I, I honestly can't think of many good si uh, Amistar partners in Expanded. Um, the one that I can think of though is Gengar, Mimikyu. I'm just going to be playing this deck again. We're going to give it a whirl in Expanded. I know Zorg is like the BDIF ruler of all the decks, but whatever. We can try and beat that deck. And I've actually put a Lusamine engine in uh, after that Gramble loss I took. I'm just like, screw it. We got to play this Lusamine engine. There's a lot in this deck. Uh, that I put in it. Obviously, Gramble's not going to be expanded, but I finally was like, this Lucimine Engine might be better than I thought it would be initially. So, we got all the standard stuff, Battle Compressor, Peter Search, Ultra Ball, Trainer's Mail, Via Seeker, all these Maxes and Bulk uh, combo cards, but there are some other new things in here. I am playing Judge's Whistle. This can actually help quite a bit pull off uh, the Maxis combo. Two Mysterious Treasures, again, cards to kind of lower your hand size. 
Four order pads, another really good card to help pull off the Maxis combo. Now I am playing two random receivers, which might seem weird, but this list actually does not play any Tapu Lele's at all. There's no Tapu Lele in this deck because you can't really put any Pokemon on the bench because then you won't get Amistar's effect. And if you don't max these for Amistar and then the effect's not play, what's the point? So random receiver will help find us our maxis if we ever need it. I am just playing one switch in case it's all Amistar. One target whistle. Really good card with this deck. This allows you to actually use, you know, Amistar's ability and potentially put an extra Pokemon on the bench so that Amistar's ability sticks. Uh, two labs. This is my stadium of choice. I don't really like any other stadium. D Valley doesn't work with Gengar. Uh, something like Silent Lab seems good. We run into any like annoying Amistar or Amistar. Rodom stuff. Might as well play the lab. We go into supporters. Again, two maxis. Uh, two Guzmas, one Sycamore. I am playing the Loose Means in the deck, and I'm also playing Fava and Flare Gun just to help mill a little bit. I'm actually playing two ends because you can end your opponent and uh, just give him a handful of items, hopefully. Red Card is also a really good card to put in here if you want. Uh, two Fighting Fury Bolts just so that Gengar Mimikyu gets, you know, a lot more HP. A Weakness Policy just in case it's like, so work. Two Mysterious Energies, or Mystery Energy, and seven Psychic. That's my uh, Amistar Gengar Mimikyu list in this. And now we're going to move over to the Maxis Kabutops list. Now again, I don't really know if Kabutops is that great with Maxis. Because you get it into play, and then you have to get it in the active spot on the same turn. And you only draw five cards. What are the odds you draw something? Unless you play like four Coco as your only basic. So again, it's just a fighting box deck with all your buzzwolves and stuff. Uh, Kabutops is a rock slide, which can do 20 damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, we can try and help with uh, Coco also to spread. I am playing Wobbuffet. Uh, it's a good starter. Wobbuffet doesn't stop Kabutops technically or Lele. So if you start with Wob, you can still slow your opponent down while you get the Kabutops in play. That's kind of my idea there. But then you have to figure out how to get it away from the active spot. So then we got to play three copies of Float to make that work. Uh, we got four Battle Compressors, one Computer Search. I am playing that Judge's Whistle engine again, but only one. Um, I am playing two red cards. This is a really good card with Kabutops. You can Kabutops and then red card them to four cards. And then again, they can't play their supporter. So what are they going to do? Uh, one Resty Stretch should be able to shuffle your Pokemon back. Four Mail, four Ultra Balls, all your Maxi stuff. Four Verse Seeker, one Cynthia, two Ends, uh, two Guzma. It's really important with Guzma. Uh, one Sycamore, three Floats. Yes, three Floats because we want to be able to go from our active two Kabutops in the one turn. Three Focus Sash. This is really good with Kabutops because it obviously allows us to, you know, not, you know, get it knocked out. Four strong energies, three fightings, and four DCs. I kind of wish we could fit in a special charge in this deck if you want. You could take out Judge's Whistle, throw in a special charge, actually. You know what, screwed. I hate making last minute changes, but it does literally doesn't matter because this is a deck that won't be playable come in, like, a few days. So, screw it. So, yeah, these are my two lists I'm going to be working with. We're going to be doing a video, or video, we're going to be doing a game with both the Gengar Amistar deck and then also the Glutoff Maxis deck. See you guys in a minute with matches. Alright, let's go get the Maxi Gengar one out of the way, and then we'll do Kabutop. See what we're up against. I'm on a pretty big win streak, as you probably saw. My win streak is very, very high, thanks to... Well, I was just trying to get those Dark Explorers packs, because Dark Explorers actually has some decent cards in them. If you can pull, like, a Dark Patch or two, Reverse Hollow Zorobud, Fuller Dark Rye. Even Empoleon could be, like, a couple of packs. So I was like, alright, I could get some locked versions. So we're going to Mulligan... We'll see what we're up against. I saw a bunch of types, so we'll have to see what my opponent is playing. And if anything, hopefully in this video, maybe I can prove that I don't know if these uh, combos are very good. So, I think we're up against Vespaquin. Judging from everything, Vespaquin could be interesting, for sure. Kind of wish I played Karen, which I think I'd win if I did, because I could literally just keep Karening them and then getting rid of their hands. So, I don't know. Maybe there would be some credits for that. Um, unfortunately, this hand may not give us the maxis. It is possible, though, if we can hit heads on order pad and get something good off mail, I do think we can pull off the maxis in Vulture. We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we're good. Uh, my opponent starts with the Tauros. Alright, let's do order pad. Get out of the way. It's a rip. We'll trainer's mail. For nothing? Yo, are you... What? Bruh. <laughs> Was that a joke? Okay, well, we're probably gonna lose. We're probably gonna lose. That's not good. Our hand's pretty pretty much unplayable, too. The only thing we can like do is like maybe target whistle them. I don't know. I don't... I mean, this has to be Vespaquin. 
Who knows, though? Maybe we can win next turn with a Horror House. I guess I can do, uh... Yeah, I can actually do Horror House next turn. So, we'll see. Oh, we're playing against a Nightmarch deck. Boo. Nightmarch is so bad. Pretty much, we're gonna lose, too, because he's gonna be able to get so many Nightmarchers in the discard. If we got the turn one uh, Amistar out, this literally would probably... We would win the game. We would probably just straight up win. I'm probably gonna have to go for a Horror House here. Just so I can draw the extra cards. I could, like, Poltergeist somebody. He's probably gonna play another Pokemon down, so it's not going to matter. Though, I could hit four items and win the game. I doubt that'll happen, so I think we have to go for the Horror House. But they're playing a lot of their items, which is not good. Even though these, these decks always play items and train and trainers, so it does, we'll probably hit good numbers anyways, but this ain't good. That Tails on Order Pad screwed me over, because then Trainer's Mail wouldn't have probably gotten me any, would have gotten me something. So that sucks. I probably would have gotten Computer Search with Order Pad. Alright, my opponent's getting ready. They're gonna get a Shaman down. I mean, if they play more Pokemon than I have in play, obviously that's good. They're actually getting me for 60, realizing they don't want to play Amistar, which is smart. There's Battle Compressor. That's good. We'll get rid of one max season in Amistar. We can do this. Um, dang it, I wish I could target whistle that on the bench. We're gonna have the horror house. Not great though, but if this gives us the Amistar, that's great. Okay, not bad. This actually, sh if, if horror pad gets heads, we should have it. We can also target whistle them to. I don't know. They're not playing. Yeah, they actually just can see the match. Which is good. Because, yeah, they can't play anything down, and then I just win with Poltergeist. Which is good. Alright, well, that was a bit of a doozy. We are on a 10 win streak. I don't really care for Karina, though. It's worth, like, two packs. I honestly could care less about getting that. Okay, so. We're up against a fighting deck, which can be fine. Gengar's resistance to fighting and typing is amazing here. If he's playing just Buzzle. Hopefully we win the coin flip. We do. The only problem is, is even if we get the turn one Amistar off, this is why I don't think Am why they did they really didn't even ban even Maxis, because like they go first, it doesn't really matter because if they go first, they they can still and we got a pretty bad hand. So no turn one. But I, honestly, I think we can literally just sweep with Gengar. But this is kind of the problem with Amistar. It's like, your opponent can easily play around it. Like, if, if you go first, you're not guaranteed the item lock, because they might only start with one Pokemon, and then you literally can't Amistar. They have to play, their turn one would technically have to be, they're active, and then a Pokemon on the bench, and another Pokemon on the bench. So, you can't really, I don't know, like, to me, that doesn't really work. That's why I don't really think Amistar is that bad with Maxis. Like, they have to they have to play their hand quite a bit. So, yeah, I don't know. Right, we're just going to pass. We'll Horror House some next turn and then hope for the best. Hopefully we can do, like, a Faba here. Play a few cards from our hand so we can draw a couple extra cards. Get the Amistar. And then hopefully get the item lock off. This could be good if they ever try to get B-String. So we'll see. But again, it's like thing is, it's like, <laughs> you all you kind of can't item lock them on their first turn. No, they got the float and they got a computer search rip. But yeah, you can't really, like, lock them on your first turn because they, they literally have to start with, like, three Pokemon in order for the Amistar turn one to work. And that's that's why I don't think Amistar is that bad. I guess you can make the argument for Kabutops because you can max these Kabutops into play. And then if you only play four Tapu Kokos... Technically, you can always get the turn one Kabutops as long as you're consistent with your maxis, but I don't know. I, I still... It's all, what are we up against? Groudon? But yeah, I just don't think that Kabutops or, and Amistar are really that bad with maxis and Baltric. Like, Amistar is a cut above, I guess, but like, again, even if we get Amistar in play, the item lock is not going to work because my opponent has two Pokemon in play. Though, granted, they do need to get an attacker into play, so they're going to have to play extra Pokemon down, but... You kind of see my my point. Okay, I wish we could target whistle. That's a good draw. 
do Faba, get rid of that. That's pretty nice. Slow him down a little bit. And we can Horror House him. Hopefully draw well. Nope. Unless Order Pad gets heads and something we can maybe pull this off. Maybe. There's like a slim chance. Do Faba again. Though. But again, I think Gengar can sweep for a couple turns anyways. Especially against him. Yeah, he just passes. There's an Ultra Ball, so we actually will have it if we get heads here. Which we don't. So we're just going to Ultra Ball... And that's the other thing with getting Amistar to play. You gotta remember, um, this is gonna 100% knock him out. Ace roll up, root hill, okay. But yeah, you gotta remember too, like, getting Amistar in play does kind of force you to have to sometimes, like, play down Lele. There we go, we had the Amistar. Forces you to play down Tapu Lele's, forces you to play down all kinds of stuff that you probably don't want to play down. Um, and then if you keep putting Shaman's and Lele's down to try and get the maximum play, then at that point, there's no point, because you're probably going to have more Pokemon, or the same amount of Pokemon as your opponent. So there's, like, that's my problem with Amistar, man. Like, I, I genuinely don't think Maxis is that bad with Amistar and Kabutops. Like, I really don't. We'll see, though. My opponent just plays a Muscle Man down. Obviously, they want to mitigate that. They have a Guzma in their hand. We know that much. All right, puts a Buzzle down. Any other Pokemon you want to play down? Give us a hand. Not having Amistar sucks. But if we get in play, we're fine. My opponent's probably going to be able to survive the turn, to be honest. I might not even do any damage. Well, I know they have an Ace Roller, so we can at least do it somewhat. But they're going to Guzma my Gengar here. Oh, they're going to be a Seeker? Yeah, they're going to Guzma me. That's fine. They're not doing as much damage. They don't have Diancie. It's not even a choice ban. And we have resistance, so yeah. They're only doing 50. So not a whole lot of damage. Mm, random receiver. That makes for good discard bait. So we can get the Amistar down, but... I don't know. Maybe it's better to Faba. I don't know. Let's just do the Amistar. This is a Max's Amistar video. So it took us a few turns to get the Amistar in play. His effect is not going to do anything because we're even in Pokemon. That's one of my other issues with Amistar. Do have a silent lab, which is good. Get rid of that. We do have this. And we have poltergeist. For a knockout, thanks to the double support. You can do B string still because he has less Pokemon in play than me. And this is where Amistar falls apart. This is where it falls apart. I don't know. Yeah, he scoops. I don't know, man. Amistar Maxis. Is it as good as everyone says? I, I don't know, man. I think we were definitely good there. We avoided the Sledgehammer turn thanks to the Dynasty KO. We did get Amistar in play, but my opponent, you know, it really didn't matter. But people can make the argument, well, what if you play, like, Captivating Pokepuff and Target Whistles in your list? Yeah, I guess I could see that. I mean, there are ways to there are ways to fuel fossil buying obviously playing a couple pokey puffs playing uh you know a few target whistles so i guess i can see where this could get out of control but like still man the only way you can effectively get a turn on amistar is if your opponent starts with three pokemon which is not very likely sometimes your opponent won't do that so i don't know against decks that do elms lecture i guess i can see it like Glaceon Amistar probably is better than the Gengar version. I just wanted to try this version out for fun, and it worked out pretty well. Horror House is pretty good. Definitely helped us get the uh, Amistars into play a little bit quicker. I don't know. I think we could probably try to put in a Poke Puff or two in this deck. I think the Judge's Whistle can go. I just thought it'd be useful to draw an extra card and then draw into, like, an Ultra Ball or something. Whatever, though. Uh, we'll do some Kabutops matches here. I do want to try out the Kabutops deck more than I do want to try Amistar, because I've played way too much Amistar. All right, we're up against a Dragon deck. Okay, we'll see what this is. This could be Rayquaza. I guess it is, because it's not Grass and Lightning. I didn't see Fire, though, so I don't know. We don't win the coin flip. See what Kabutops can do against Ray, though. Obviously, Kabutops is like, you just, you want to see nothing but Zoark. 
And alright, we should have the maxis here if we can get a battle compressor or top deck of Kabutops. We will have the maxis and Baltric. That's why the Coco start is so good. Yeah, just Rayquaza. Okay, Rayquaza might actually be kind of tough. Good thing we do have Focus Sash, though. So we'll have to see how this plays out. I'm just going to Ultra Ball. They're probably going to get a really good turn one. And they have Max Elixir, which is pretty bad. Them having Max Elixir really sucks. Alright, discard important cards. Nice. That would be a Seeker. Hey, they're playing Belt. That's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, this matchup is awful. They have an Aganadel to deal with Buzzwolves. Rayquaza is pretty much hard to deal with. Ooh, they're playing the Delinquent in their deck, too. Interesting. I'm just gonna pass. Alright, they didn't have the best turn one. Another DC top deck. Okay, well, good thing we put the special charge in. Alright, Trainer's Mail. We need a Battle Compressor. And we did not find it. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much a wrap. Well, not exactly. We'll do this. For we'll grab Lele. We do have three Kaboo tops. We'll grab Lele for I guess like I can't. I don't want to do Sycamore. Yeah, we'll grab Cynthia. Let's see what we can find. Wobbuffet would have been a nice starter too. Okay, that's not helping. That is not helping. I guess we didn't, I don't know if we really need three Kabutops, to be honest. <laughs> but this hand ain't helping. So we'll just fly and flip. We're probably going to get knocked out here. We can draw well enough. Draw computer search. We'll be able to get the Kabutops in play. We're not really getting good luck with our turn on Maxis, though, unfortunately. My opponent's going to treasure. I mean, this is pretty bad, not gonna lie. At least we can do special charge, help us out a little bit, get our energy back, which is good. We'll see how well this goes. We'll see. We will see. All right, he's going to Mars Shadow me. Okay, if he does that, I will greatly appreciate that. He's actually going to knock out Lele, which I'm fine with because he's going to be Retreater. If he Mars Shadows me, we should get the Maxis. We've only played one Ultra Ball, so I hope we can get the Maxis. If we don't, I'm going to be very shocked. Okay, we do have it because our other Maxis is in the deck and we have our other Lele. He's going to get Rayquaza. Will he even KO me here? He's for parallel. I guess he's playing like a delinquent engine, but he can't play delinquent once we get Kabutops in the active. So we'll see what happens. That belt though is a pain. That is a pain to deal with. So he'll knock me out. Yeah, that's fine. Dragon Break for like 250. 190. Wow, my math was way off. What am I saying? Alright, so. Alright, well, we're probably gonna have to play this. I don't really know what we get rid of. We do have Buzzwool, so I can Sledgehammer. I don't know. But this is a Maxi's deck. Uh, we'll get rid of an N. I don't really know what to get rid of there. Actually, we. Yeah, we're gonna have to play this other DC. Oh. All of this. To get a Maxis in play. We DC the Lele, I guess. I'd much rather DC my Kabutop, so. Thank you very much. Let's see what we get. We got a red card, we got Focus Sash, we can plop that on. Um we got Buzzwool. So we'll just do flying flip. Actually, we'll put Buzzwool down, and we'll do flying flip. This kinda sucks. 
Another thing I don't like about Kabutops is you have to attach an energy to You have to attach two energies to it. That's, like, hard to build up. But my other issue with it. We're not really getting anywhere with Flying Flip. Rock Slide will be good, though, but... At this point, it won't even matter. I guess I could have retreated into Kabutops, done Fossilized Memories. Maybe, like, Max's Kabutops would be, like, better with, like, Primal Groudon or something, but, like... Have Kabutops in the active spot while you like load up a Primal Groudon. Maybe that's a bit stronger. I could see the argument for like a Scramble Switch Regirock engine in this deck too. If you want. Again, I don't, it doesn't really matter what you really tweak with this. Because this combo is going to be gone in like six days. So again, it doesn't really matter. But the Kabutops ain't working for us, folks. It ain't working for us. We don't have Beast Energy in this deck either, which I guess is a good run, but whatever. Okay, so we can red card him, if that even makes a difference. Probably not. We'll mail. For nothing. Could've got another Kabutops. That's fine, we'll Cynthia. I don't think Kabutops does anything at this point. It's better if, like, yeah, so are. Let's see what we get. Got Diancy. We got an energy. We're down two DCs though, so hopefully we can hit that next turn. And we'll just pass. So we have the Sash on. He could just have a Field Blower within his hand though. Though I don't know if Rayquaza would be playing Field Blower though. So we'll find out. Parallel me. That's fine. We don't actually don't have a Counter Stadium. But he, at least he can't do Delinquent because Kabutops is active. But it doesn't even make a difference because we're not even knocking it out. This is my problem with Kabutops in general. Like, it's not a good attacker. So, what can you do? Mail. I guess we got Focus Dash, put on Buzz. Yeah. Max Potion would be nice right now, too. But, we lose all our energy. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't find the DC. So, we're just going to have to float for now. Yeah, this ain't very good, guys. Not good. We'll sledgehammer for a decent chunk, but again, with that belt on, it does not even make a difference. This is my issue with Kabutops, man. I don't think Max's Kabutops is that good. Unless someone... I mean, someone could make, like, an insanely crazy combo, but, like, the problem is, if you play, like, a, a stall, like, control Kabutops deck, you have to play... One half of your deck would be a Maxi's version, which is not as consistent. Yeah, it's gonna goose my Kabutops. I think we just scoop. We're not gonna win this game at this point. There's no way. No way, guys. We'll do another match. Kabutops, Smaxies, man. Proving me right that I, you know, it's not very good. But we didn't really get very lucky with Kabutops there. We want to always be able to try and, like, get a turn one Kabutops off. So we'll try another match out, of course. Just keep trying our luck. It's fine, though. Hopefully this video can prove that, like, the Kabutops Max is almost another Rayquaza deck. Weren't as good as people probably expected. Alright, can we get heads? We do. Alright, let's get a turn one Kabutops in the active spot. That would be amazing. Let's do it. No, we didn't get it again. We got Wobbuffet, though, which is actually amazing. Because if he's playing Rayquaza, he can't do Stormy Winds. So that's actually really nice. And no, he is not playing Rayquaza. Well, that sucks. Well, maybe he is. Maybe he's playing Rayquaza with Altaria. That technically does work. Nope, no Maxis there. That's not also how we get Max in play. Alright, we just have to end him. I guess we didn't need three Kabutops and all, if I'm being honest with you. I think I went a little overboard with the Kabutops, but whatever. Does it matter? Not really, because all this is going to be gone anyways. Double Kabutops and a Maxis. Ooh, only one Maxis. Maybe I keep that for Layla? It's always kind of awkward when you only have one Maxis. Maybe I keep that for Lele. Let me just go triple Kabutop. Well, we could draw like a computer search or like a trainer's mail, get the Maxis. This is risky because I... Screw it. That always sucks when you only have one Max because like you can Lele for it, but whatever. We'll just pass. I'm not going to bench Dianacy so we can't Guzma. gonna end me all right he's gonna reset my hand hopefully this gives us the turn to kabutops i'm looking for 
<coughs> no one does it. Oh my god. <coughs> nope. Well, we can win this turn, which is fun. Yeah, set more screwed. We can win. I just need float, which we didn't find. That's actually pretty annoying. We didn't find a float. Um, once again, we actually got just an awful hand. <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised we actually didn't hit float there, though. That's a rip. We literally could have won here. He's playing a Lolan Executor. Okay. I was way off. Still, we are in desperate need of Maxis. This is going to be fun to look at, though, and expand it. This thing with double dragon energy is pretty cool. Can't do Propagation, though, with Wobbuffet and the active, which is good. Let's get Double Dragon, and he has Guzma. Nope. I'm actually fine with him ending me, because as long as this gives me the Kabutops, I'm fine. And then I guess maybe I should have Focus Sash one of these boys. I didn't know. I honestly didn't expect him to end me, though. I thought he was going to like Guzma or something. We would have it. Unfortunately, though, we got rid of our other maxes. <laughs> so we don't have it. Alright, well. This stinks. We would have had the Kabutops, but yeah, we got rid of our other thing. We'll just end him again. Just keep trying to reset our hand. Didn't really give us anything. We're just not able to find the Kabutops play, folks. I could start doing Jet Punch. I'm j I'd rather just wait. He might have a Guzma, but the nice thing here is Wobbuffet might as well stay in the active. He can't do Propagation, so he can't do Egg Splat. I'd rather just wait and then Absorption him. This kind of sucks, so no Kabutops. So yeah, again, maybe the Kabutop Maxi is just not very good. I don't know. There's a lot of problems with doing Kabutops maxis, but I don't know, man. Maybe there was like, yeah, he had the Guzma too, oh my god. But he's bringing out Baby Buzzwool of all things. I, that's really weird, actually. That's really weird. I don't know why he's doing that, but okay. I will take it. Play another one down. Again, we would have the Kabutops here, but we just don't have the other Maxis in the deck, unfortunately. So we'll just Cynthia. We should get it now. Maybe. We, sh we might have it. Um, let me just Absorption him. Buzzle won't get KO'd thanks to Focus Sash unless he gets rid of it. This might be a bad card. Okay, that's good. I was going to say, that could be just a card we can't really play. Now, if Mail gives us like a Computer Search or a Verse Seeker, we should get the Maxis in play. But at this point, does it really do we really need the boot tops? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Alright, let's see what he does. It's gonna be a secret for an end, probably. Yep. Got a lower hand size, we can still get the Maxi's combo off, hopefully. Gotta stop I got that's a bad habit of mine, guys. I know I always click on my discard pile. It's a bad habit. Okay, we might have it actually. We might have it. We just need to get an Ultra Ball off Trainer's Mail. But he actually conceives the match, doesn't he? We didn't even, it didn't even matter. We didn't even need to get the boot tops. I do think uh, this Alone Executor, though, is actually a really cool card. I am going to be... I'm excited to cover um, cover this card because it is pretty cool. We do have four Executors, so maybe maybe down the road I'll make an Alone Executor execute video. Let's do another match. Try Just keep trying to get the boot tops in play. I really don't think we need to do much with Amistar. And once again, we'll try and get the Blue Tops going. We're up against Zoark, so if any time to get it into play on turn one, this would be that moment. Rip, he's going to be able to get a turn on Bridget. Let's see what we're able to find. Not a turn on Kaboo Tops. Again, how? Rip, man. I put baby Buzzle down. I don't want to lose Buzzle. GX. 
Yeah, this, this really sucks. This is like the one time we actually like really get access to Kabutops on turn one. And it's like, we really want to get turn one Kabutops. Ugh, he's playing Zorg, Zodia. Oh my god. If Funny enough though, if he delinquents me and I keep my hand, and I got a Kabutops, I could actually potentially transmill for like Maxis. That would be kind of funny. That'd be hilarious, but don't look like we're gonna be able to get that. Let's see what my opponent gets. If they're going for the delinquent play. If we went first and got the turn on max these Kabutops off, we would prevent them from getting this going because we could just stick Kabutops in the active and then they literally can't do Guzma or Ace Roll. And it's actually really good because they don't really play like Brigid or anything so like straight up they would actually be struggling hard. There is the annoying delinquent. It's fine, we'll keep the trainer's mail. No, don't do that, you jerk. Ooh, we got Maxis. Unfortunately, though, we did not discard Kabutops. Okay, we got a Cynthia. That's good. We should be able to knock out Zorua here. As long as we don't whip an energy. <laughs> Which we somehow do. But my opponent scoops anyways. We actually did have the turn two Maxis, too. Which would have been nice. But that's fine. We're not hitting these turn one maxis though, which really sucks. Alright guys, we'll do another game with the Kabutops. Try and get the Kabutops in play turn one. It's not happening though. I don't know. Kabutops maxis. Is it good? I'm leaning towards no. <laughs> I'm leaning towards a no. Playing against Rayquaza again. Alright, I'm gonna go heads here. Hey, Alright, can we finally get the turn one Kabutops in play? For the love of everything Pokemon. Can we finally get it? It looks like we should have it here, which is really nice. Finally, we're able to get it, I mean. Yeah, we do have it thanks to Ultra Ball for Lele. As long as we didn't prize Lele or Maxis. We finally got the Terminal Kabutops, and we got Wabafet, so he's playing Rayquaza. And we drew the Via Seekers. Now I don't have it, because we drew Via Seeker. This game is cursed. This game is cursed, I'm telling you. No, we do have it. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was gonna say. So I'm like, oh, we gotta grab Lele, but no, we do have it. I'm wrong. And very wrong. What do we grab? What do we really want to put down? Instead of Widow, maybe? I'm thinking either Sid of Widow or Diancy. I'm gonna get Sid of Widow because Rayquaza does rely heavily on their bench. Okay, finally we got turn one Maxis. Now, can we find a Float Stone for Wobbuffet? If we don't, I'm not going to be too upset because he still can't do Rayquaza's ability. But I would like to go Kabutops. Now we didn't get Float. Alright, well, we found Focus Sash. We'll attach that and we'll just pass. We'll red card him next turn and everything should be good. So, out of like six games, because I did do a few games that are not going to be in this video. Because I just got frustrated because I didn't get the Kabutops in play on turn one. Um, or turn two, or turn two, or turn three, or turn four. So, we're like... Literally one in six right now with turn one Kabutops. And we didn't even get an energy on it, so it's not like this thing's even attacking anytime soon. So there you go, there is my main issue with Kabutops. My opponent's gonna bridge it. Okay. Interesting card to see in maybe a Rayquaza deck. And the coin in the uh, deck box checks out. Okay, they're gonna get Rayquaza, Shaman, and Poi Pool. That's the weirdest tech I've ever seen in Rayquaza. They could still ramp up energies, though, with Max Elixir. But that was to support for the turn. Alright, they're gonna bite. So we're gonna red card them. We're gonna hope we hit a float stone. It's also one of the reasons why Kabutops Max can't suck. You don't find float, what are you gonna do? We can red card them, though, go into Kabutops, and just kinda hopefully go from there. What do we draw? There we go. 
So we'll red card him. We might not even need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to play Lele. I do not want to end them because we don't want to end them after we red card them. And we're just going to go for Cynthia or Sycamore, sorry. Sycamore. Hopefully we get an energy for Kabutops. They still will get access to Stormy Winds. So that's the only problem with this, but I don't even care. We're finally going to be able to go Kabutops, Agro. And, uh, do we Rescue Stretcher? No, we just pass. So Kabutops is in the active, finally. Now let's find out if Kabutops is going to make a difference. That's, that's the next big thing. Will Kabutops make a difference? Does he have any energy in the discard? He does not. So he will get access to Rayquaza. This could get rid of two energies, which it doesn't. That's really good. And they got three cards, so they can't do any support. Would be nice to rock slide these guys. We don't have... Oh, we do. We have Guzman the discard. So actually... I don't mind drawing an energy here. Any scoops. I was going to say, we don't. I don't mind drawing an energy so I can just rock slide one of the Rayquazas. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to wrap up the video here. Honestly, guys, Kabutops, Maxis, Amistar Maxis, not as good as I anticipated them to be. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. Kabutops Maxis is not good. I'm going to say that right now. It's not very good. You can't play this with a control deck because you can't really play control cards and maxes and ball trick cards in one deck that i don't think would work um so i don't know kabutoth maxis i don't know if it's that good uh maybe like just like a kabutoth waba fed deck is the way to go amistar gengar i think has way more potential or just amistar in general has more potential with the uh, maxis but again i don't know whatever the sad thing is we're never going to find out if these would actually truly become as bad as pokemon anticipated when they banned maxis that's the sad thing about all this we're not going to find out if both kabutops and and i'm star were ever going to become that bad so that's unfortunate but i'm going to rather these pcg video here hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you like don't forget to subscribe to help me reach 4k subs we're getting super close now to 3900 subscribers we're like 20 18 17 15 subscribers off right now and also make sure to head over to car cavern tcg if you need any codes, buy them there, and you can use discount code LDF for a discount on your purchase, obviously, Kappa Ross. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maxi's Amistar and Kabutops wasn't very good. Honestly, I don't think Pokemon needed to ban Maxi's because these two cards before it became a problem. Because I don't think they were going to become a problem. I don't know. I think they were just overhyped. So that's my two cents on it. Let me uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that Maxi's Amistar, Maxi's Glutoss really was that was gonna be such a bad thing that Maxi's needed the ban. We're gonna miss you, Maxi's in a ball trick. We're gonna miss you a lot. I'm sad to see you go. Maxi's Rampardos. Actually, you know what? Before we end the video, screw it. I'm just gonna go over all these fun Maxi combo decks I built over the years. This was one of my favorite decks I've ever built in my in the lifetime of me playing PDCGO. This is one of my favorite decks that I've ever built, and I'm never gonna be able to play it again. Maxis, Rampardos, and Maxis, and, and Archies, and Polion. This was my, one of my favorite decks I've ever built, ever, and sadly, this deck is no longer gonna be a thing because of the ban. This was one of the funnest decks I've ever played in my life. It's so sad to see it go. I don't know if I had any other Maxis decks, did I? No. Did I? I swear I did. I swear I did. I guess not. I must have deleted a lot of them. Um, but I, I've built other Maxis decks in the past. I had like a Maxis, like, Groudon deck. But yeah, it sucks to see Maxis go. We're gonna miss you, Maxis. Gallade, Kabutops, Rampardos, Marowak, Machoke. They're all gonna miss you. They're all gonna miss... Marowak's gonna miss... Ma Marowak's gonna miss Maxis a lot. That was a really fun card with Maxis. Gallade. Gallade is gonna miss... Mix Mat... Mi can't talk today. Galley's gonna miss Maxis. Man, it sucks, man. Machoke might miss Maxis. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Rest in peace, Maxis and Ball Trick. Let's get some Fs in the chat.